check this thing out. This is an old Harmony um, from the 60s that a customer brought in. Um, you know, it's all mahogany, uh, American made, and um, like a lot of these, the action was way too high when it came in. So um, naturally, you just want to try and save something like this. It's really nice and that sounds really good. And other than the high action, it was in pretty good shape, all original. Um, so the first thing I did was um, I checked the relief on the neck and I used the um, top string as a straight edge and you know a lot of people do this but I'll show you in case you don't know um, push on the first fret and you push on the last fret and you see how much room there is moving right so it's if there's a lot of room moving then imagine like a banana shape right like that this the middle part of the string would have all this room and it was moving a decent amount uh, actually no it wasn't moving that much um, but from here to let me let me start over from here to here from the body to the first fret it wasn't moving much at all but then when i moved back to this fret here it was moving quite a bit so i knew that there was a ramp here at the body which is so common right um now what are you going to do uh if the neck is fairly straight and you have a ramp well how about tilting the whole neck back to go with the ramp right that's really the answer so that's a neck reset taking the entire neck out by heating it, and then redoing, you know, taking all the old glue out, putting it all back in, getting it straight. It's such a huge job. It's just big money for an inexpensive guitar. Now these are going up in value, but um, still not to the value of a Gibson or a Martin or something like that. So how are you gonna save this thing without spending that sort of money? Well, I've showed you um, pictures of this before, but, um, I'll talk about it one more time. I do a quick neck reset. And I, on the next post, I'll have pictures of all this. But what I do is I remove the 12th fret, take it out. I take a saw and I cut right through the rosewood down to the uh, mahogany. And then I spatula this thing off. This section comes off. So I can peer down into the dovetail, which is right here. And the dovetail always has a little bit of room below it, usually. And what I do is I make these shims and I hammer them in. I hammer in uh, wedge-shaped pieces of wood that I cut. And you can see the neck go back. It tilts back like if you were shimming a Stratocaster. You just jam them in there. And um, you can even see a little bit of a um, gap here when you do that, usually on both sides. Now this time when I did it, for some reason, the base side um, just tilted a lot more than the treble. And it probably had a lot to do with what glue was holding and what wasn't. I actually had to pull it back out to straighten it. Um, let me tell you that I actually had the strings on the whole time I did this. And I tightened the strings back up to check my angle. And my, you know, the angle this way is important and the angle this way is important too. So uh, I tuned it back up while this piece was missing, hammered those things in, checked it, and I realized I had to pull one out, straighten it again. All right, so after I had that done, I glued this thing back on. And I checked the level of it with the strings on again, slid it under the strings. And once I felt like I had good level with minimal buzz, even though it wasn't glued on, I knew I could glue it back. And I actually used a little bit of crazy glue and clamped it and glued it. Cause I wanted to get this thing done within one day. I'm trying to keep the cost down for the customer. All right, so a couple minutes later, I'm back. And I realized that the action is still too high. And there's just too much going on up here. It's still too much relief up here. There's a little bit of a bow. As you can see, you know, it says reinforced, steel reinforced, but it's not a, an adjustable truss rod. And if I had an adjustable truss rod, I could just back that off, but I don't. So you'll see pictures of this, but what I did was I pulled this fret out and this fret out, and I have a level that I put sandpaper on, and I leveled out the wood from the nut to the third fret. And I just kept doing it while those frets were out. And um, until, I, until I saw that this section was level with this section. And you'll see the pictures, I have levels to show me that. All right, so I even, uh, you know, these old harmonies, they're sanded so poorly from the factory that you can see like lateral sanding. And you see that? It's not even smooth. So I copied that lateral sanding with my, uh, look at that, came out pretty good. It actually got really light colored too, so I had to stain it again too. 
with a magic marker pen actually it came out really good so look it kind of hit it too look at that all right so there you go i put the frets back in i clamped them back in i had to glue a little bit played it the action was still a little too high i don't think i nailed how much i had to take out of the wood but i took a decent amount out of the wood and i wanted to show you this too you can see on the front of the nut there's a black line let's see if I can get this up there right there is a black line that black line is how much rosewood was taken off yeah you can see it's a lot still not enough though so i took some off the first fret and the second fret with my level and oh my god it plays beautifully now just that extra amount of course i had to cut each nut slot a lot lower to get down to that level so everything was just feather touch it's just perfection i had to do a video just now because i was so excited about it it's a beautiful old guitar they're just i mean i don't know if they're as good but they're close to an lgo all mahogany great sound great look what a beautiful little thick card <laughs> Now someone had cut the slots, they like hacked down into these slots to get the action lower. You can see that one was hacked down. So um, I actually filled in the middle to actually raise the action on some of the strings so we can get the radius back. So the radius is, is so important to match the radius of the fretboard so each string has the same height above the frets. And uh, so before it was flat because somebody took them all down as low as the saddle would go and these saddles are glued in by the way too you can't get them out now another thing is this is starting to come up a little bit here but uh, i checked it i took the screws out it was pretty strong and it would have to be a fight to get it off and I'm, i always say to myself if it's a fight well, i don't know if the strings do the fight why do i have to do the fight <laughs> i mean del i'm saying this, delay that to a later point when that fridge is ready to come off and those screws are going to hold that a very long time very big nuts and bolts inside there. I think this is gonna stay even though it looks bad. And you can't always go by the look, you wanna go by how strong it is. Sometimes I take a bridge off and it took me forever. And the only thing that was coming apart was the very edge that you could see. So just because it looked bad, we did that whole reset, we ripped apart the wood, we replaced it, we did all that work just because it looked a little strange. So sometimes you gotta live with the look maybe even do some wood filler but i checked it and i think that is strong however we can we can um hit that one next but most of the money is being spent here now the other way to do this would have been full neck reset to get rid of this would have been a full refret and a fretboard level we're talking well over a thousand dollars to save this guitar and for what i did with one day's worth of work it's going to be half that easily I even left the string. These are the strings the guy came in with. They were brand new. I was able to work with the strings on. And they sound beautiful. I'm going to keep them on there, too. I did break the B string, so that's one new string. <laughs> but it's amazing how it was major surgery with the strings on. Pretty fun. And it looks really good, too. And it oh, sounds good. Well, there you go. Old Harmony saved. They're not all like this. Depending on what parameter went bad, the different approach has to be taken. Sometimes it's the bridge, sometimes it's the neck angle, sometimes it's the neck shape. So there's a lot of things that you have to consider before you really rip one apart. I've had people say, I tried your neck reset idea, your quick neck reset idea, and it didn't work. I said, well, yeah, but what was the original problem? You had a banana-shaped neck? That, it's tilting a banana-shaped neck is not going to be the answer. So you have to look at it and figure out what you want and what, you, what you're trying to accomplish and what the original problem is. All right, that's all I've got to say today. Thank you for watching. <laughs>